Hello students, uh, today we are going to learn the concept called profit and loss. You guys are already aware about the formula. I am revising the formula with you all once. Profit formula is selling price minus cost price. Loss formula is cost price minus selling price. When it's profit, selling percent will be more. When it's loss, selling percent will be less. Whether profit or loss, cost percent will be always 100, right? What is profit percent formula? Profit over cost price times 100. What is loss percent formula? Loss over cost times times 100, right? Now see, look at the question. For example, if this is the question, question this. A dealer wishes to make a profit of 25% profit. Immediately profit word came. We should apply the formula selling price minus cost price. Is profit. Profit percent is 25%. Whether profit or loss cost percent is 100%. When it's profit, selling percent is more. So it is. So basically what I'm just taking this minus on another side becomes plus. And it is 100 plus 25, which is 125%. And selling percent is more. That is another indication. At what price should he sell the article if the cost price is rupees 200? I have to find the selling price. Cost price is 200. Always remember this. This, this, this percentage gets eliminated. Cross multiplication. So 200 times 125 is equal to 100 times question mark. In order to find this question mark, multiplication when goes on another side becomes division. So what is 2 times 125? It is 250. So what is the selling price? It is 250. Are you with me, kiddos? Next question. Here, they are talking about loss. Immediately, when they are talking about loss, first thing is my loss formula is cost price minus selling price is loss. Loss percent is 20%. Call whether profit or loss cost percent is 100. I want to find selling price. When it's loss, selling price is less. So it should be this plus when goes on another side becomes minus. So 100 minus 20 is 80%. I have got uh, sold for rupees 36. So I've got selling price over here. What will be this? Again, cross multiplication. So Question mark into 80, 36 into 100. I have to find this question mark. Multiplication when goes on another side becomes division. 4 twos are 8, 4 nines are 36, 2 fives are 10. So what is, what is the cost price of the article? Cost price of the article is 45. Are you with me, kiddos? Now next question. For example, these are all similar ones only. Uh, this question. Anil bought an old motorcycle for 20,000 and spent rupees 3,000 for its repairs. Bought. Bought means cost price. He has spent rupees 3,000 for its repairs. So total cost price is what? It is 23,000. Right? For how much shall he sell it to earn profit? Again, profit is there. So selling price minus cost price is profit. Say profit percent is 12%, whether profit or loss, cost percent is 100%. When it's profit, selling percent is more. So it is 112%, right? Now, what is cost price? It is 23,000 they have given. I want to find what I, how much shall he sell? Sell it to earn the profit. So it is selling price. So again, cross multiplication is equal to 100 multiplied by question mark. This multiplication when goes on another side becomes division, rule of equations. Cut, 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 cut. When you will do 230 times 112, see, uh, when you don't know multiplication, bigger number, 200 plus 10 plus 2, expand. So when you will do 230 times 112 total, you will get 25760 as your answer. So I hope kids you all have understood. Just finish this whole worksheet and you all will be more sorted. Thank you.